I'm going to show you how I set up the reason reason to control these lights that I've got over here. I've got uh, four different lights. I've got two LED bars, I've got a LED spotlight, and I have a LED strobe. And they're all using uh, DMX, the standard light protocol to control. Uh, and what I've got is this uh, thing called the Deca box, which converts MIDI to DMX in a quite simple way. So in my setup I have Reason running, I've got my MIDI interface, this is the Tascam Fire 1, but it could really of course be any MIDI interface. I've got the MIDI going into the Deca box, converting the MIDI signal into DMX, and then the DMX lights are chained. And of course the, uh, the lights have to be set up for different DMX channels. So I've got um, the LED lights set for um, red, green and blue control both of these and the third one as well and then this strobe light I've got just to set to come off and on and what you can do with this is you can map uh, inside Reason I'm using these external MIDI instruments and all I'm using them for is really to have uh, these control uh, messages, the MIDI control channels sent out to the MIDI channel that I've assigned the Deca box to listen on so basically what happens is the Deca box listens for control messages from MIDI, converts them to DMX and controls the lights from them. So for instance this one here is set up for uh, the control channel 19 and when I slide this over here if you take a look at the light over here it is controlling the red light. So I can control the red up and down on that one by sending uh, on control channel 19 I can send messages between 0 and 127. Now DMX has all the way up to 256 so what the Deca box does is it, it basically doubles the control channel value so a 127 will be full 256 so you've got slightly less steps to go than you would with a full DMX setup but it's really not that noticeable so that's the the red, I've got the green looking over there, I've got the blue and I can do that for all of my lights basically and that's that's good and all, but what I've got after that is I also used a bunch of Thor synthesizers. And if we look in the programmer, we can see that I've turned off all the oscillators. I don't really want these to make any noise. I don't need any sound at all. I'm using the global envelope. And if we take a look at the back, I've got the global envelope modulation output wired to the assignable CC input on all of these external MIDI instruments. I've got that set up for a bunch of them and the point is that putting all these in a combinator and s patching them to different keys I've now got on my keyboard where I can basically play the lights so I've got this key mapped to the red and as you can see not only does it turn it off and on but it's also got a nice little fade out and that of course is based on the on the global envelope of this uh, Thor synthesizer here. This one for instance is the left red. If I increase the release on this one and then we take a look at the red, it'll be a much slower fade out. And if you wanted to fade in you could just increase the attack value and now the red is going to fade in and fade out. What I want though is just kind of a quick but still nice little fade out and I've got the red on the C, I've got the green, the blue, I've got the next light, red, green, blue. I've got the third light, red, green, blue. And then I've got the strobe light up here. Uh, and of course if I play quickly, then it'll blink. Uh, and with all this, what I'm doing in this live setup that we have for the next show we're going to do, I've got the tracks, but I've also got the lights in the sequencer. Now I have one track for both the LED bars, I have one track for the strobe, and I have one track for the spotlight. You could have them all in one track, you could have a separate track, of course. Uh, but the point is that I can quantize, I can play now the lights, just like if they were an instrument, and then I can quantize them to make them work uh, in, in, in key with the music, and have the same tempo. So if we're listening, I don't have any good speakers hooked up, you can see how it's, how it's working when I play the track that we're about to do. So in the intro here, I've got the strobe. And then I've got the other lights. 
fading basically. Uh, just shifting colors in tempo with the music. And let me fast forward a little bit. You can see that the lights. Any way I want to do this, I can have them pre-programmed so that they go in, in tempo with the music when we play. Or, of course, I could control them live, either by a keyboard or by a pad or something. And it's really all thanks to this uh, uh, beautiful Decabox setup, really easy to set up. It's, uh, it does everything for you, so once you've got that set up and all working with the channels and everything, you really don't have to do much else. And that's what I wanted to show you.